So I want to do a quick note on the galactic center. What is the galactic center? The galactic center is located at about 27 degrees Sagittarius, um, if we're looking at the Western tropical astrology. And this is something that you're going to want to check and see where your astrological placement is by checking out galactic astrology so there's a free online report that you can do they believe the website's called galacticastrology.com but you could just like google it and quickly find this online calculator i have other videos about it but let's talk about why this matters there's actually a lot of energy very potent energy right now as it relates to the galactic center so whenever there's a, a very specific reason why during the holidays we do a lot of uh, we have a lot of downtime there's a lot of festivities there's a lot of rituals happening in the air during the holiday season and that's because we are so close to the galactic center around this time and Basically, it's black hole energy. It's source creation energy. So if you look at a lot of the creation stories of our time, a lot of them started from a black hole. They started from the void. And so this can be very powerful, very mysterious, sometimes scary, right? Because if you think about the black hole, like anything can happen, right? Things can be created and things can also be destroyed. So if you find that you have placements um with the galactic center so like let's say you find out that you have astrological placements conjuncting the galactic center or opposing you just want to take a look at that it's definitely start with the conjunctions because whatever planets are conjunct your galactic center so if you have like a lot of sagittarius energy in your chart for example that's going to mean that you're able to uh, magnify and expand that planet for good or for better because it's black hole chaotic energy it's why it's really important to know about the galactic center even though there's really not a lot out there about it you're going to start seeing more talk about the galactic center in the years to come basically but um if you are governed a lot by the galactic center you really want to get into zero point energy because um you are dealing with cosmic energies which are neither good nor bad right you if you switch up the angle um good can easily turn into evil so um two examples of black hole energy would be number one like the creation of of the earth um a lot of folks say it start started from the void anything in the womb is the void right so the womb is black hole energy the womb can can bring life into the world Another example of black hole energy, though, could be um, chaos and destruction. So uh, a movie or sorry, a show that comes to my mind when I think about black hole energy is Stranger Things. This whole idea of the upside down, how there is always this mirror world of like chaotic energy that's like always like threatening to take over the, the current world that we live in. That is another example of the galactic center. So I did a video around Orion star seeds. If you find that you have some planets that are conjunct the galactic center, or if this is prevalent in your galactic astrology chart, check out my Orion star seed video. Um, also, because 2024 is a, an eight year, eight is very significant as it relates to the Orion constellation and as it relates to this black hole energy as well. So you're going to be seeing more galactic energies coming into the planet. So having an awareness of where you are situated within this is really going to support you with making sure that you are navigating your own ship and you're doing so for your highest good. So if you have a lot of placements with the galactic center if you have a lot of sagittarian energy there's a reason why they say sagittarius's are so lucky and they're so expansive a lot of times sagittarius energy is all about like travel and seeing the unknown and everything else um and at the same time um sagittarius energy can be like really fiery and can also um there's a flip side to sagittarius energy as well and think about this as it relates to 
black hole energy and the galactic center in your world. And in order to be able to have the, the galactic center work for you, it's going to require a very deep level of mastery in your spiritual practice. And that starts with non-duality and zero point energy. Because uh, when you're working with galactic energies, things can switch up really quickly depending upon where your consciousness is and depending upon the dimension that you're vibrating at. Okay, so you can get go to the depths of hell with the galactic um, with, with the galactic core energy, you can also go to directly to source creation with the galactic core energy. When it relates to what's happening right now, um, just on an energetic level in terms of the vibrations of the planet shifting, a lot of that has to do with this galactic core energy. Um, for many years, this, or for eons, I should say, this energy was, there was an at attempt to siphon this energy and to basically um shift it off of its natural pole and so that is naturally shifting right now and uh with that more expansive energies are going to be coming into the planet so um that's why the number eight is as associated with like infinity and all that is expansive and like abundance and all that and power but it's also associated with karma and like restriction and that sort of thing so um, check out my Orion Starseed video if this sounds interesting. If you have other questions about the galactic core, I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, content about this. I think it's really important for us to become aware of this energy and to start studying this energy, especially for the times to come.